the noose is tightening on the suspected masterminds of the Anglo leasing fiasco. The Swiss government has sent a tough warning to dictators and corrupt individuals who have often exploited the over 300 years old Swiss Bank Code of Secrecy regarding banking and the account holders to hide stolen money that Switzerland will no longer keep such monies. No country in the world has made, has made such efforts as we did over the past 15 years to give back money stolen by uh, dictators or by politicians uh, all over the world, including Africa. But we are trying to send a very clear message. If you loot money in your country, don't put it into Swiss banks because the justice will catch up with you. The Swiss ambassador to Kenya, Jack Peterloo, threw the salvo when he received more bundles of evidence needed to firm up the case against those involved in the Anglo leasing saga from Attorney General Githu Muigai. The ambassador hailed the government efforts in providing further evidence in a bid to bring the Anglo leasing case to closure. We are not there and our financial system is not there to cover up for uh, this kind of criminal activities and we are very grateful uh, to the Kenyan authorities that they are helping us stating once again that Switzerland is the wrong address for looting money. Though he did not disclose those behind the stashing of the money in the Swiss banks, Attorney General Professor Githo Muigai gave the assurance that the money is safe and will soon be repatriated to Kenya with the help of the Swiss government. <laughs> but I, we, I was able to confirm from the Swiss authorities that Kenyan money is being held in Switzerland and that money will be repatriated to Kenya. You can quote me on that. And I would consider that progress. How much it is, uh, who took it there, when it will come back, that is still a work in progress. Professor Muigai said the fresh evidence handed to the Swiss authorities is set to galvanize the Anglo leasing case. Both the Kenyan authorities and the Swiss authorities now know with a lot of uh, certainty who did what, when and where. Looted funds have often ended up in Swiss banks owing to a provision in the 1713 Great Council of Geneva which established regulations that required bankers to keep registers of their clients. The provision, however, prohibited them from sharing the information with anyone except the clients unless the city council agreed with the need to divulge information. Judith Akolo, Channel 1 News.